What do you get when you get an overly emotional boss? An INTP's cue to slack off. This type was suggested by Bonja T, which is actually not a kind of tea, so I can't place the joke I wanted to here. Regardless, enough stalling, let's do this. They're people folk. If we were to say ENFJs loved people, that would be a bit of an understatement. To them, everything is about people. ENFJs love to listen to people and create a safe space for people to open up and be themselves. Your head may be locked up tight, but they're master locksmiths. And your deep repressed thoughts are the ENFJs golden nuggets. ENFJs are experts at seeing potential in others. The idea of helping you grow and reach your best self is really appealing to them. Basically, ENFJs are kind of like gardeners, but for people. Just be ready for the weeding. They're bosses who care. ENFJs are natural leaders with a lot of influence. So much so, they make your favorite social media star hella jelly. ENFJs tend to be social geniuses. They know just when to pop in and when to stay out. Though people don't talk about it much, this power can be used for the dark side too. Basically, if you ever meet an evil ENFJ, you're screwed. If you're a feeler, an ENFJ will probably be your ideal boss. They're goal-oriented and they know what needs to be done, but unlike some bosses, they also know your likes and dislikes and personal values. And while other types might know this, ENFJs actually care. But what's so impressive about the ENFJ, they can balance the feelings of their team with the getting stuff done part. They're selfless. This isn't necessarily a good thing. ENFJs push hard, and that's good. But pushing yourself too hard can lead to some serious burnout. Self-care is an important part of a work-life balance. But ENFJs can forget about this. To them, it might seem small or unimportant, like sleep or hygiene. That's just lazy people talk for a mattress test. Because ENFJs are so interested in making other people happy, they can oftentimes get taken advantage of. Before you know it, they'll greenlight bed desks and implement a no lights after 9am rule in the office. When you spend all your time helping others, you can forget to be you. Then what do you become? Well, a busybody sometimes. ENFJs can get too involved. No, triple dunking my Oreo isn't excessive. They're triple stuff anyway. Yes, they exist. They're logically shy. It's easy to pass off ENFJs as illogical idealists. Kind of like ENFPs. But they do have a good deal of respect for logic and thinking things through. ENFJs have a deep inner thought life. They've done all of the thought experiments. You can basically call them head scientists. While ENFJs have lots of opinions, they tend to be shy about saying them. They will tend to avoid people who openly criticize their thought process, which I think most people can relate to, but that can cause problems as well. I'd say ENFJs are pretty cool. If you want to learn more about shy ENFJs, watch my video all about the ISFJ. I've been Travel Knight, and I'll catch you guys all next time.